Our next question comes from The Confidential Fish. I love these screen names, man. The Confidential Fish says, Ramsey, what would you say to encourage someone who had been who had been to the gym and had been pointed at and mocked for their body while working out? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, the gym is not a place for perfect people. The gym is a place where you go to improve yourself. And, man, what would I say to you who have... Who's been mocked? I don't know if this is a man or or a woman sending me this question. So, I'm just going to assume your gender and throw a pronoun out there from time to time. So, what would I say? Man, I am sorry that you had to go through that experience. I am sorry that you had to put up with that. At the same time, hold your head up high because you're doing the right thing. We're going to the gym. You're going to the gym for you. Not for them, not to impress people. Some people go to the gym to impress people. To take videos, to put on Instagram, to get likes for how good their booty looks or whatever. Man, I found out about Instagram recently. Started an Instagram account recently. And immediately I noticed the voluminous amount of pictures of people's butts being thrown out in front of me like like this person like that person and i'm like ah what is happening to my phone at this moment i love the world of physical culture i love gym culture i love martial arts i love weightlifting i like gymnastics i love all this stuff i love powerlifting i like strongman competitions i love watching this stuff and i love seeing athletes athletes succeed at the things that they love And another thing I love is seeing people make positive changes in their life, make transformations. People go from, you know, being the little wimp who got bullied in school to being the tough cage fighter, you know, being the the person who was overweight to being the person who was fit, the person who was not confident to being the person who was supremely confident. And it's one thing to say, just ignore them. Their opinion doesn't matter. And that's true, it doesn't. And you should ignore them. But it still hurts, right? Me saying that doesn't make that go away. Words can hurt. I get it, man. I get it. Man, I've been doing this sort of thing on the internet so long that I've heard it all. I've heard it all, man. There are some nasty, nasty, nasty people in comment sections on YouTube and other darker parts of the internet. Well, they will try to steal your soul away from you. They'll try to bring you down. They will try to make you sad because they get off on that. Something that fascinates me, there is a certain kind of individual who will come to my YouTube videos and, and man, this always brings a smile to my face because they will watch every single one of my videos, dislike it, and then leave an angry comment and then move on to the next one and then watch it like, this video sucks and you suck. Next video, this video also sucks and you suck. Next video, this video sucks even more than the first two and you also suck. And they'll go through hundreds of videos this way. I'm like, well, wow, thanks for all the views and the the comments man <laughs> i mean these these people who hate me so much are actually lifting my channel up through through this extra exposure and the monetized views man monetize your haters dude so that's something something i always get a kick out of i mean i don't understand it if i see a youtube video that i hate i'll turn it off and i'll find something that i love instead I'm not going to say, oh, what, what else does this guy have that I hate and that I can hate even more that will make me angry and make me go throughout the day with a dark cloud over my head. <sighs> gyms have a lot in common with churches. And gym culture sometimes has a lot in common with church culture. And I meet a lot of people who are really disenfranchised with the idea of churches. And here's why. 
because they run into people who have the mistaken idea that a church is an institution for perfect people. And it's not. Oh, how it's not. And I'm going to speak from the perspective of, of Christianity, Christian churches, because Christianity is the idea that we are flawed. We, we are sinners. We have all fallen short of the glory of God and we need help. That we are sinners. We are wrong. We are hypocrites. And so we go to church not to put ourselves on display and show our veritable spiritual butts on the spiritual insta church or whatever you want to call it and say look how good and righteous and precious i am no quite the opposite we go there for help we go there to try to make ourselves better we go there to try to be less of a hypocrite to be less of a sinner. We go there to try to repent. In the same way that we go to the gym to get stronger when we are weak, to get leaner if we are fat, to get better if we are worse. And so to hear somebody say, ah, you're too unfit to get fit, that doesn't make sense. Just like it doesn't make sense when someone says you're too much of a sinner to come to this institution for sinners. You're too imperfect to join the rest of the imperfect people. Doesn't make sense. Take courage, my friend. Take courage. You are doing the right thing. You're going to the gym. You are making changes for you. Always remember that. And when the haters come after you, and they will, because in a world this big, there are just enough haters for everyone. Just understand, they're probably talking about themselves, like artist Georgia O'Keeffe. Oh man, I love Georgia O'Keeffe. More so her attitude than her paintings. I mean, she painted giant close-ups of flowers. Mostly. And her critics would say, Georgia, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with this woman? Because they accused her of thinly veiled metaphorical paintings for women's genitals. They basically said, you're painting a bunch of vaginas, aren't you? Because you're obsessed with sex. To which Georgia O'Keeffe replied to her haters and said, I think... That statement says a lot more about you than it says about me. Ooh, burn. I love that so much. Really, the haters are not you, my friend. Those people putting you down at the gym, they are not you. They're not hating you because they don't know you. They don't know enough of you to hate. That is self-hatred being expressed in your direction. So what can you do about them? I don't know. Love them to death. Appreciate the attention for what it's worth. But ultimately, you're good. You're good where you are, my friend. Just keep getting out there and keep training. Next. <laughs>